Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Make It Monday for today. Today I'm going to do a fun fold card. It's called a Corner Tuck Fold Card and I've been playing with a few, I'm just going to get the lighting right, playing with a few um, uh, samples. I was asked to make a couple more baby cards so I've been using this one. Um, that was with some retired product, um, but I've also made a couple with the Rain and Shine DSP, and this one is the Scenic Garden stamp set. It was the host, one of the host stamp sets in Celebration, and I didn't really get to play with that. And Celebration finishes on Tuesday, so if anybody would like to try and get this host stamp set, just let me know, and I will tell you how you can go about to do that. But let's flip over to my craft desk and we can get started. Okay, so here are the cards. That you can see them better this way. So this is one of the ones I made with the Rain and Shine um, product. The designer series paper. And one that was on the edge, I just cut him out. Plus he cut him out, but stuck him on the edge here. So it looks like he's just sort of starting to walk across the card. Um, I think that's really cute. <clears throat> so that's that one. This is the Scenic Garden one, which is really beautiful. I did this on a deckled rank rectangle die. So it's a really cool little card to make. And these, this is one of the samples. Um, not the samples. This is one of the cards I've made. So it's for a little boy called River. So I've used the retired... Um, the stamp set was wild about you. I don't know what the paper was. I can't remember. But I've still got some of that paper. So I used that, used that for that card. And this was just another one I just was having a little play with. So I've got a few baby cards up my sleeve now. <laughs> so we've got to make, I've got to make one more. Now this one's for a little baby called Gabrielle. So her name is way too long. I can't put it on, on this card. So I'm not going to. So let's get started so these are all the little things you'll need i've fussy cut some of the little characters out already so let's so you need a piece of cardstock a4 cardstock cut in half lengthways you need two pieces of designer series by paper 5.5 centimeters by 10 centimeters you need <coughs> <clears throat> contrasting designer series paper <clears throat> two inches by two inches I've got a tickle in my throat <coughs> sorry <clears throat> sorry about that or 5.1 centimeters by 5.1 centimeters it's easier just to do two inches and that's cut diagonally you need another piece 1.5 centimeters by 14.4 and you need another piece of designer series paper 10 centimeters by 7 centimeters. So that's all um, bits and pieces that you need. But we're going to cut the base cardstock a certain way so we get this panel, this front panel. So what we chop off from here, this part of the card. We turn it around, take a little bit more off, and that becomes that um, panel for the card. Okay, so I will collect all these up and put them to one side so we can get started. There we go. Okay, so this is your standard card, card A4, but it's like that and we've just cut it down the middle that way at 10.5 centimeters so we'll get a trimmer in and we're just going to put it in this way and score it at 14.8 get rid of the cutting blade I'll move it down so you can see so I'm just going to score it in half and then we're going to move it across and at 8.8 .8 centimeters we're going to cut that bit off okay and then <clears throat> we're going to trim it down because we want it to be 10.5 but we're going to trim it down to just 
double checking 7.5 centimeters So that's 7.5 and that's 10.5. So this becomes your card base. So you've got, you've cut that in half, you've scored it at the halfway mark, 14.8 centimetres or 14.9. <clears throat> and then you've taken that piece and you've trimmed it down a little bit. To make it ten and a half centimeters by seven point five centimeters, so that's how you get that panel. Let's leave this one down here. <laughs> okay, so we'll get rid of all our little sticky. Oh, we won't get rid of all of them. So we'll bring some of our pieces back in, and. This is the Dainty Designs, the celebration paper. Um, that's been a beautiful pack of paper to use whilst we've had celebration. And you can still get it. So I'll bring my glue in. We're going to put this piece of designer series paper here. So we will just get our Tombow. Okay, so just lining that up, putting that, matting that down so we've got an even border all the way around. And I did forget to get <coughs> my card insert. So that's 10 centimetres by 14.4. And that's going to go here. But before we do that, we've got a two inch square that we've cut it diagonally in half so it's the same paper but I'm turning it over just to give it a bit of contrast so we'll put that piece aside and we're going to put glue on this outer edge don't put glue down here because that's where your panel is going to tuck in under so I find glue is easiest because if you use seal it's sort of too big a strip of adhesive I'm just trying to get it so I don't get gluey, but I don't think it's going to work. And then put it up to your um, corner of your card insert panel. There we go. Press that down. But you've left, where's my little pokey tool? Here it is. You've left this unglued because you want to be able to poke your panel into that. Then I'm going to put Tombow around there and attach my insert to my inside my card like so. There we go. So you can see how quickly and easily this card starts to come together. So I shall get my bone folder and do that, just get that down. So then we've got this panel that's going to go here and it gets tucked in under like so. But we're going to decorate that first. So we'll get rid of that. So I've got a piece of the Rain and Shine designer series paper here, 10 centimetres by 7. And we're going to put that on the front like so. And that's going to be a little bit of a contrast. So you can see how this is all coming together like so now I do have another strip of designer series paper 5.5 by 10 centimeters that I'm going to put on the inside because I think it just looks nice I'm not going to put a character there 
but I just think it looks nice to have the inside decorated as well. I might put a character there, who knows? You never know. So I'll just put that the same, just with your little border all the way around. Okay. <clears throat> and then your one and a half centimetre strip using the contrasting piece. I'm doing it like that. I'm putting just it along the bottom of the insert. There we go. Okay, so then this is going to go like so. So we've got all these little characters. Let me get my other rain and shine one. This is my other rain and shine one. So you've got all these characters that you can deal with. <laughs> yeah, just grab a tissue and wipe up the glue off my mat. Okay, so I've got these little fellas. And because this one's for a little girl, I thought we might go maybe with this character. Seeing this one has got... Oh, well, that one's not the one I'm doing for the boy called River. I've got the hippos and I found that paper. So it doesn't matter which... But he's got a blue coat, so... I could do the blue bunny jumping in puddles. Or I could do the fox. I'm just trying to work out which one I want to do. <laughs> I think the little blue bunny, uh, pink, pink coated bunny looks quite cute. And then I've used the, like this one coming out. This one was coming up on the edge of the paper. So I thought I could use him. Um, this one is also like coming out from the side of the paper, but I can't do that because it's got a tuck in, so I can't use him. I could use, I could use, I could just use the turtle. Decisions, decisions. We could use the turtle, the bunny, or the little fox. I'm just trying to make my decision. <laughs> so that's a spare bunny. They're two little half turtles. Um, he's got a pink umbrella, so he's quite cute. Um, let's do let's do the bunny, I think. Yeah, let's do the bunny, and I've got this little one as well, and I've got one of the half turtles so we can get my double oval punch which I forgot to get there it is okay I think I like the bunny jumping in the puddle I do like him okay so before we attach him we're going to attach our little panel to our card now just working out where we're going to put it okay so that looks pretty good so we just want to put glue behind that part of it so let's just flip that over and get our glue And we want to place that about there. Just enough so that we can tuck in underneath. Might bring it down a fraction. There we go. And then we can tuck it in under our little panel on the edge so 
And then we've got our little bunny that's going to be, now is that straight? Let me just look. Yes, it's straight. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Yes. So then we've got our little bunny jumping in the puddles, which is quite cute. And we can use these two inside. So let's put the glue lid back on and get some dimensionals happening. I'll pop him up. So I don't have the stamp set um, that goes with this designer series paper. I just bought the paper and I'm really enjoying just cutting, fussy cutting the little bits of paper, the little characters out and using it that way. Um, if you do get the stamp set and dies, well then you've got the dies to cut the little characters out, which is always helpful. But if you don't want the whole bundle, you can just get the paper. And that works just as well. Okay, I'm just using mini dots here. A couple of big ones and a couple of minis. So this is a, a quite a simple fun fold card. But it's just a little bit different and it's always nice when you're doing um, like a baby card or a special card to have a little bit of a twist to it okay so we're gonna pop him there so he's splashing in the puddles and then you will open this card up and I'll just get rid of some of that glue that's there and this little turtle can pop up out of, like this one's coming in from the side, this one can pop up from there. And I want to make sure he's not going to be visible. So let's pop some glue on the back of that half turtle. <laughs> Sometimes I need my little pokey tool to lift things up. Okay, so we're going to just pop him butting up against that strip of designer series paper. And we'll just put that down like so. There we go. That's him. And just. I don't want him sitting out here. I want him to be hidden still. So I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, I want to just make sure again where I put him, where I place him. So he's not poking out. There we go. Because we don't want him showing. And you know what? I could put... I didn't on this card, but I don't know whether that would be too much if I put him there. I could do that. But let's do our sentiments first. Okay, so I'm using the Celebrating You stamp set for the sentiments. <clears throat> There's this really nice one here called Welcome, that says Welcome Little One, and I really like that, and it fits beautifully with the oval, double oval punch. So I quite like that. So let's get that out. And put that on a block. And I've got some white cardstock here. Now... Petal pink's a little bit pale. This is flirty flamingo, so I might. Is it flirt? Yes, it is flirty flamingo. So I might use that ink colour for the sentiment. Because it'll stand out. I like to do my sentiments in colours that are a little bit bolder. <coughs> Okay, so this is a double oval punch. This is a great punch if you don't have it and you're starting out with your craft supplies. Um, it's really good. It's $31 and you get the two 
size ovals and they layer on top of each other, which is lovely. It's a great punch. So let's go like so. Punch that out. And I'll get some petal pink scrap. For my scallop oval. There we go, that will do. And that will be for my scallop. Okay. So I shall just get my pretend snail <laughs> so I can put that onto my double oval. Like so. Okay, bring this little character back down. And I'm going to pop that there. Um, I think I just put that flat. I did. Because I've got him punched, like popped up. So I don't want the sentiment popped up as well. I put it upside down. <laughs> You'll see something in a minute that I have done upside down. There we go. That's just got a bit of tack there. There we go. <clears throat> so how cute and how quick does this little card come together? It's so cute. Okay, so we've got that but let's get our flirty flamingo down so this is what you'll see that's quite funny <laughs> i'll clean this stamp off um i've um, mounted a stamp i've put the sticker on the stamp upside down so <laughs> when you come to stamp this one it's upside down so i have to make sure So I know the sticker is upside down, but the stamp isn't. <laughs> I didn't know I'd done that until the other day. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's just as well I tried it out before I stamped it. There we go. And I'm just thinking, will I put this little feather? Or should I put... See, I've even cut this one out. This half one. He could be coming out of the <laughs> out of the cardstock. So don't just dis, dis, um, disregard your little half characters that are cut off from the edges of the designer series paper, because they can be used too. I could put him here. Yeah, I think I will just for fun. Why not? Because all the little characters are cute on a baby card. Okay, let's pick that up. And we'll bring that over here. So when someone calls their baby a longer name, like Gabrielle, that makes it very hard to personalise the card because it's such a long name. Um, yeah, I thought... That's going to be too hard. I'll just do a little girl card. So, that's what I've done. So, now I shall get some bling. Now, these are epoxy dots that are retired on this card. But, let me see. What did I put on River? River's card. I think I used retired waves of the ocean bling. I'm going to see, I don't have any of the raindrop ones left, I don't believe, but I've got other ones. I've got little diamond ones, so they might work. I think I've only got one little raindrop one left. Yeah, we can't do one. Just do the little diamonds, because they're quite cute. So 
So this is retired bling, but that's okay. So I've had a run of baby cards to make. I've still got two more to make for um somebody. I might move this one down. You know what I'm like with my bling. <laughs> okay, that's better. So put that back in my retired bling box. There is our corner tuck fold card. Have I got ink up there? I think I have. Nobody will notice. <laughs> because it's going to get tucked in. There we go. So that's our corner tuck fold card. Um, so these are the two. So this is retired product. Um, but it just worked for the little boy. So, but this these are two from the um, Rain and Shine DSP. Uh, this is one from the Scenic Garden um, stamp set from the Celebration and the Dan uh, Dainty Designs paper. I think I called that the wrong paper. I think that's the... Let me look what it is. Goodness. So, as I said, there's only two more days left of celebration. Dandy Designs. That's what this paper is. Dandy Designs. Really cute paper. Two more days of celebration. So, if you want anything before the freebies go, get your orders in. Um, so, there, that is called a corner tuck fold card. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, got my little characters because I've got two more baby cards to make <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you on Wednesday night for my Facebook live and I hope you have a great week and thanks for watching bye for now <laughs>